Welcome back to The Stars Made Me Do It. It's Gemini season. What's up, Geminis? Happy Gemini season. <laughs> Happy Gemini season. Uh, just a quick little reminder that you guys should totally be following us on Instagram because we put fun stuff yeah. up there. Yeah. The Stars Made mm-hmm. Me podcast. Come join us. Come do it. Instagram and Facebook and all that fun stuff. We're on YouTube. No Twitter. No Twitter. We don't do that. Mm-mm. I was kind of debating making a TikTok for the stars made me do it. Maybe when well, now we're that together. you know how to TikTok, yeah. yeah, that would be really fun. I I still I'm I am not the youngest generation anymore, and I don't really understand TikTok. <laughs> I'm gonna admit a very millennial thing right now because I was like, I don't understand how the fuck to do this. So I watched a YouTube video on how to edit TikTok videos. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's what I would have to do, too. I, d- I don't even understand how you do it. They seem, like, really complicated and, and like, voiceovers and adding things onto them. Yeah. And, and I'm just, it seems very complicated. Now that I know how to do it, I'm good. But I was just mm-hmm. like, this is not intuitive for my 30-year-old brain. But anyways. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, if you follow let us know. Sierra. No, no. But if, if you follow Sierra on Instagram, she's been posting really funny tarot reading tiktoks i've been doing tarot readings with plants and cats pick if you want a plant or a cat (laughs) and so guest on is featured in all these videos and then one of my one of my house plants is featured in all of them too and i'm thinking when i'm back in the u.s i'm gonna Mm -hmm. make it pups and plants and feature astro maybe theo yeah Mm -hmm. but anyways well let us know if you would be interested in a stars made me do a tiktok i feel like we can make some pretty fun ones especially with the witch hats Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of talking about 5 million things, it's Gemini season. And what are Gemini's great at? Talking about 5 million things. So let's talk about Gemini's. Gemini's. All right. Um, Third sign of the Zodiac, the first air sign. They are air, mutable, and masculine. Yeah. So before we started recording, we were having our usual debate of Tara being like, I don't know if I feel like Gemini's are mutable and me being like, I feel like they're the most mutable of the mutable because I think of kind of yeah. mutable as airy in a way. Um, so we're just going to go over again what mutable signs are. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, no, um, it's uh, fixed signs make sense to me, mm-hmm. but um, cardinal and mutable are the ones where I'm like, are they? Yes. Is that a thing? Yes. So yes, please, please explain. So we do have a um, Cardinal Fix Mutable episode if you want to scroll on back up the list. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can, I think I share that pretty often actually on, uh, on our Instagram, but mutable signs, they are the last sign or the third sign of the season. So we're in spring right now. We started with Aries, first sign of spring. Then we went to Taurus, second sign of spring, and now we're in Gemini, third sign of spring. So there are three signs in a season. And the last sign of the season is the mutable sign because they're like, hey, ho, I'm I'm spring, but you know what? We're about to be summer. So like I'm getting ready. I can move along to the next one. And mm-hmm. that's kind of a mutable vibe. So just a reminder that the mutable signs are Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. And they're all about adaptability, versatility, openness to change, and being flexible AF. So their positive qualities are that versatile, adaptable, changeable, subtle, sympathetic, intuitive. And then the more negative unevolved sides are deceptive, crafty, inconstant, and undependable. So it's like they're all over the place, which makes them super adaptable where it's like, I was talking to Guillaume and he said something. He's like, well, you seem to already have your mind made up on it. So I won't offer like my opinion. I was like, who are you talking to? Like, offer me your opinion. I can change my mind. Like I'm not a fixed Aquarius. Like some, you know, like I, with certain things, sure. I've like, you know, like if it was, how am I going to do something? And Mm -hmm. I was going to do it this way. Like, it was like something like, like licking envelopes and I was going to use water because I don't want to keep licking it. And he was like, well, you could, no, 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 no. No, I won't share because you seem to have your mind made up. And I'm like, if there's a better solution, tell me, I'd rather know, you know, I feel like that's a mutable quality instead of being like, I I feel like he was projecting there where he's like, well, if I had an idea made up, I would not want another solution because this is how I'm going to do it. What are you, what are you thinking? I see you thinking. 
No, I'm thinking that I I see where he's coming from, <laughs> where I think I think maybe you are open to other ideas, but will most likely do it how you want to do it. Yeah. In the end. But, but um, I'm open to it. And if there's a better thing yeah. out there, I have no problem changing my mind if if I think it's better. That mm-hmm. That's kind of the thing where, yeah, if I think my idea is better, I'm going to go with it. Mm-hmm. But I'm not like don't try to convince me of your ways. I know that I'm right. It's more kind of like if he was like, well, you know what you could do is do it this way. And if it would save me time, heck yeah. Mm. So I think it's just the openness to change. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to change, Maybe. but it's the openness to it. I think also on it, what I'm thinking is um, opinion wise. I think it's very Gemini, Virgo and Sagittarius seem so set in their opinions and views where you're not going to change those. I'm okay. You know, totally get what you're saying. I'm not going (laughs) to change them, but also I genuinely want to hear other people's opinions Mm. because I can't, I, I really feel like I can't move forward unless, you know, how can I, I can't know that I'm right. If I, if you have a completely different opinion than me, at least Mm -hmm. I have that new information because it kind of helps me see things from a different light. Like even with political stuff, I am so set in my political ways, but I am also, I think you would agree that I am always open to hearing what other people think because I want to know what the other side thinks, because if I don't know what the other side thinks, how am I going to ever communicate with them? How am I going to ever like, where are we going to ever find a middle ground if I'm not open to hearing what the other side thinks? So I think that some people, especially with politics, are so set in their ways that they're like, you're wrong, you're stupid. And I'm like, even if I feel that way. I still want to know where you're coming from because you got to be coming from somewhere and maybe Mm -hmm. that'll add a new perspective. So I feel like that's what it is. It's not necessarily that every mutable sign is going to be easily swayed in their opinions, but I do think that they're open to, you know, like, well, maybe I'm like, I might not be completely correct. I'm open to that information. Mm -hmm. Um, But it, that being said, that could be a, a a quality that then with mutable signs comes across as wishy-washy mm-hmm. because it's like, well, I used to think this, but then I thought that I'm thinking of just like, you know, um, <laughs> we're like going deep here. We haven't even talked about Gemini's, but like, it's important with the mutable stuff. Like I used to be so anti-hunting, like so anti-hunting. And I would like be like, I can't believe people who hunt that's, that's terrible. How could you ever take the life of an animal? And then I was on the archery team and every like, and at first I was still like, well, you do you, but we don't talk about that. And then it was like, you know, but at the same time, I'm like, but, but I really like you as a person. And I want to know, is this part of your culture? Like, is this, you know, what's going on? And the more that I heard about these, like these friends that I made that were hunters and how I'm like, well, actually, if we compare that to the, you know, the industry, like industrial food and everything, that animal probably lived a much better life and was their life was ended in a much less cruel way. And so though I am still, I could never do it. I could never go hunting. I have a whole new perspective that I'm like, I'm, I'm not as strongly anti-hunting as I once was because I now have someone else's perspective. So I feel like it's that, like that's my opinion didn't change, but the new information kind of softened it. If that makes mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. So the, the thing with mutable signs as well is because they can, they can adapt so well that they can like the unevolved ones, they can be super deceptive. They can be super uh, undependable and they can be like mutable signs are known as the best manipulators because they can change the personality so well. Um mm-hmm. I see all the memes where it's like going to a party, like going through my personalities, which one am I going to wear today? Like which group of friends am I with? You know? And I relate to that for sure. Yeah. Um, But anyways, mutable signs, uh, they can be all over the place, but they're open to that change. They're adaptable. And Gemini is one of them. It's the first one. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so it's the third sign of spring. So shall we keep going on about Gemini? Yes. Yes. Thank thank you for for that mutable uh, recap. Re- recap. That's what I yeah. do. I recap. <laughs> Good at recapping. <laughs> you cat moon recapper. Cat moon recap. Oh my God. <laughs> I said cat moon recap. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Virgo is also ruled by Mercury too. Mercury is like Hermes, like the messenger. 
mm. you know, like speedy all over quick. the place, speedy quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and so for the part of the body, Gemini rules the shoulders, lungs, arms, hands, and nervous system, which is interesting because Gemini, the twins, it's all of these things are like a duality, you know, it's mm-hmm. like shoulders, lungs, mm-hmm. arms, hands. So yes, yeah, it's yeah. And I don't think we mentioned it or wrote it on here, but Gemini is the twins. Like that's what the their twins, symbol yes. is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So every Gemini has two sides to them. Everyone. Yes. Mm-hmm. They have an evil twin locked upstairs in the attic. Every single one. Ask them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gemini is the third house, which is, I think. Yeah. Which makes sense. That's they're in their, they're an air sign. They're all in their head. Mm -hmm, Um, mm -hmm. And they are the witness, the teacher, the storyteller, and the journalist. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, So Gemini's, they have the bad rap and along with Scorpio's competing for most hated Zodiac sign, but that's stupid because it's not true. I hated zodiac sign you can't clump every single person of that sign into one group and say i'm never going to be friends with anyone who is that sign exactly which tara learned from aries season Mm -hmm. (laughs) which i wasn't even like it was just every aries i had come into contact was a little abrasive and intense for me but but we are has since changed yeah um, so Gemini's always have like the, you know, oh, like I hate Gemini's. Gemini's are the most hated. No, they're the only one more hated than Gemini's is Scorpio. Ugh. Okay. Here's what I kind of, cause I was like, why, why? Because I personally really like Gemini's. And so I was thinking about this with evolved versus unevolved and kind of like how we talked about with Aries, like an evolved Aries is fucking great. And unevolved Aries can be scary because of Mm. those unevolved traits. So for a Gemini, we'll get into the evolved and unevolved traits, but unevolved Geminis can be manipulative as fuck. And so much Mm. so that it's like, cause it's a mind fuck when you have an unevolved Gemini. So I think that so many people, if they have had a mind fuck by someone, it was probably an unevolved Gemini and it left such a lasting impression, but it's like, not all Geminis are unevolved. I was saying how like, you know, certain signs, if you're unevolved, you're probably like, you know, I'm thinking unevolved Sagittarius, like unevolved mad- male Sagittarius is probably a fuckboy, like someone who's just like a player and always are like, you know, never committing, always being like, yeah, well, this is this is just casual. Right. And then breaking hearts like mm-hmm. I would think that that would be. But at the same time, you know, that would be an emotional like oh, Sag- Sagittarius. I would never date one because of that. But it's like they're not all like that. But like a mind fuck for an unevolved like sign like a Gemini. I think that's why people hold on to it so much. So Mm -hmm. the unevolved ones give the bad reputation, but stop the Gemini hate. Stop it. Stop all the Zodiac hate. Stop all the Zodiac hate. We are four Geminis and all the signs. Mm -hmm. And with that note, Tara, tell us about the path that I'm trading. Stop the Zodiac hate. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Positive traits of a Gemini. They are adaptable, honest, outspoken, um, creative, innovative, daring, lively, active, curious, and funny. Like such good traits. Yeah. I mean, they're very, um, uh, I'm gonna add to this conversationalist. I'm adding to the list right now. Conversationalist. Yeah. They're, they're not, um, like, while they are air signs, I don't find them to be like wishy-washy. They're not like, um, they have very distinct traits. Yeah. Like that by, makes sense. by wishy-washy, I think it's more like airheaded, like, like it's Gemini's have so many opinions and so many thoughts and so much knowledge going on that it's, mm-hmm. it's not a lack of having an opinion. It's almost like there's so much information that they have going on. So they're very mm-hmm. articulate, I would say, because they're ruled mm-hmm. by Mercury. So is Virgo, you know, very articulate. And mm-hmm. like, if you're listening, I just feel like, um, I remember my, my dad saying this, like one of my best friends growing up who we're going to interview, um, she's a Gemini. And I remember my dad being like, Karina just tells the best stories. And this was like, before I even was into Zodiac, this is when we were probably like eight like 12, Mm -hmm. you know, and we'd have campfires. And whenever we do like campfire stories, like she would just like get into it. And it's like, they just have a way of thinking 
and communicating in a, mm-hmm. in just a really articulate, cool, interesting way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 However. So tell us some negative things. However. <laughs> What would an unevolved Gemini be like? An unevolved Gemini is inconsistent, two-faced, indecisive, overly anxious, judgmental, has mood swings, and is very gossipy. Mm. So, um, you know, Geminis love chatting, but it's like, and I also think, I think we all need to take a little appreciation for some like quality gossip that's not hurting anybody. But let's we're talking about the gossip that's like, let's say rumor starting, you know, mm-hmm. and yeah, being really like, a, I don't know, using all of those positive qualities in a negative way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, w- I would say Geminis are the most gossipy of the uh, of the Zodiac. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, show. Sure. Yeah. You want to go back and forth for our flip side traits? Yes. These are our, yeah, our flip side traits from Cosmopolitan. So you start. Okay. Versatile. Am I saying both of them? <laughs> you say back and forth. I feel like I'll say one and you say the flip I side of that. I was thinking this way. You were thinking this way. I know. <laughs> Versatile can become superficial. So yeah, you can adapt and become this and that, but it's like, are they just being fake? Are they, or are they really like that? Like, are you seriously interested in this many topics? And it's like, yes. Or are you just pretending to be? Yeah. It's Mm -hmm. like, well, they most likely are interested in that many topics. They're Mm -hmm. a mutable air sign, you know? Yeah. But then sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, I totally love like gardening. And it's like, I read a magazine article on it that I loved. And it's like, that that doesn't Mm -hmm. count, you know? So Mm -hmm. (laughs) They can um, be really smart, but that can sometimes come across as ruthless because they will fight that point where it's like, no, but I'm educated on this. So I'm going to keep telling you about it. So Mm -hmm. that's the flip side there. Uh, Youthful, which is good, but that can turn into being immature. Yeah. They they do have such like a, they do have a youthful energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Very fast, which can be good but that can also turn into being erratic. Mm -hmm. And then curious, but that can turn into two-faced gossip hounds. Yeah. (laughs) Calling me (laughs) two-faced. That Uh, was for people that listened to uh, the Taurus interviews. Our cousin Lars, when he found out he was a uh, Gemini rising as well as Gemini moon. And we told him We're like, Lars, you're a Gemini (laughs) rising and moon. You call me (laughs) two-faced? But seriously, seriously, like I bet every single person listening to this, if you have a Gemini in your life, they have two sides to them. Like my Mm -hmm. other awesome friend who is one of our biggest fans, Liz, we love you. She, I'm calling you out, Liz. She goes by Liz with all of her friends and at work, she goes by Elizabeth. And she's like, you know, a super like intense and, and gets it done and is so like, you know, we got to do X, Y, and Z work-wise. And then with friends, she's like silly, ridiculous, and and just such a, a different version of Liz. She's Liz and Elizabeth. Like I'm thinking of mm-hmm. my my one teacher friend who she was like, we're going to sing songs in class and we're going to learn through music. Get in line. There's nobody talking in the hallway. You know, like there's such a disconnect where I'm like, I'm all over the place, but I'm consistently Sierra, where mm-hmm. every Gemini, your mom too, who's a Gemini, she has mm-hmm. like, I was, I was over her house for like, whenever I saw her, I was at her house. And then she came to my parents' house and she was like the other aunt Renee. And I was like, what is this? Hmm. And it was like the, <laughs> Oh, I'm on someone else's, you know, like territory. And I'm just being the, Oh, that's so nice. What you've done there. As opposed to when I'm over there and she's like, Sierra, what the, what are you doing? Blah. You know? And it's like, <laughs> It's like, what happened to Aunt Renee? Oh, it's the other Aunt Renee. You know, there's always two sides mm-hmm. to a Gemini. Always. Hey, Tara. Did you know that your name kind of sounds like the word tarot? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of tarot, there's a really cool shop called Tarot in Time that is so much more than just a shop. 
You are right. Tarot and Time is a tarot and astrology service with a brick and mortar store located in Kent, Connecticut, for all your metaphysical, herbal, and tarot needs. Their herbal and holistic approach to tarot and astrology is extremely welcoming. Their website includes videos of each reader so you can find the right match for you. And they offer in-person or distanced via Zoom tarot and astrology readings. Prices are very reasonable, starting at $20 for a 15-minute reading. I've had multiple readings from Tarot and Time, both in person and online. When I was in the U.S., I've been in their actual shop. And when I've been here in France, I've been able to coordinate it fine doing the readings online. Yeah, I had one in person, uh, one in person reading, and it actually changed my mind about tarot readings. I wasn't a huge fan of them before, but after my reading with Mimi, I kind of changed my mind about it and I like them now. Yeah, so you can do easy booking online at tarotintime.com. That's T A R O T I N T H Y M E.com. What do Geminis love? Shall we go back and forth? Yes. You start. <laughs> Read. No, you say ing. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Reading. <laughs> right. Ing. ing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, reading, writing, traveling. Partying. Making friends. And chatting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're a little social, even even introverted, even introverted Gemini's. They're social beings. Like they need all of those things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think they do. They enjoy going out, and even if it's just like being social on their own, mm-hmm. I think they like to be like around people. Like they like need either, like take that- yourself on a date where it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go out and do things. I'm an introvert, but I want to be like out doing things. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. And also, I'm thinking. Guillaume has a Gemini moon. Penelope has a Gemini mm-hmm. moon. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm thinking because Guillaume is an introvert, but I would say his Gemini moon is what makes him an extroverted introvert where he's like, mm-hmm. I'm craving those social gatherings. Like Gemini is the ruler of the third house, which is community. Like mm-hmm. if you have a lot of third house placements, it's like our Gemini placements, you know, what's going on with your neighbors. Like, you know, their drama, you know, the gossip of the neighborhood and, you know, just like social like type of creatures. And so I feel like that that Gemini moon is the for Guillaume, at least I would say, is the social part of it. And Penelope's just Mm -hmm. a little social butterfly. And I know that during confinement, she was like, I need my friends. And yeah, 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 it's hard. (laughs) But yeah, as far as boy versus girl, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I I know a bunch of girl Virgo uh, Gemini's. Yeah, um, not Virgos. A uh, bunch of girl Gemini's. I think I know like two boy Vir- <laughs> Why do I keep saying Virgos? Because it's really boy Mercury. Gemini's. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Really weird. But yeah, um, the girls. Super chatty, super gossipy, super um, opinionated. I know you said you're well open to other opinions, but the, the people I know that are Geminis are oh. not open to changing their opinion on things. They're open to hearing it. They're not open to like they're opinionated. I, okay. I think there's a difference yeah. between wanting to like it's hard with Geminis. I would say that is a typical mutable trait, but Geminis are mm-hmm. so um they're so well researched in their opinions yeah. that it's not mm-hmm. just an opinion; it's a well researched opinion. So mm-hmm. I think it's almost like they're opening to they're open to changing their opinions should they come across research that contradicts something. Mm-hmm. But in a conversation, they're so sure of themselves because not only do they have strong opinions, but it's because they're backed up with their own research. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, Yeah. I mean, my mom's a Gemini and I get along really well with her, but she's got a Libra moon. Um, And then I worked with two Geminis that were like, they really rubbed some people the wrong way. Um, And I did get along with them and I liked both of them, but um, I I definitely understood why people did not like them. Yeah. Um, And I mean, the one you couldn't get away from her because she would not stop talking. Yeah. Like it just, yeah. it was so nonstop. Mm-hmm. And 
eventually I had, when, when this person was there, I wasn't allowed to be in the same office as her because it was like, Tara can't work. Tara can't get her work done. <laughs> she has to be in a different room when this person is here. Um, that wasn't my choice. That was the boss who <laughs> was like, no, Tara can't stay in here when this person <laughs> is, is here. Um, so yeah. And I mean, I really like them. And also I do enjoy the chattiness of a Gemini because I'm not a chatty person. So it's mm-hmm. nice when the other person is like very good at making conversation. Mm-hmm. That's what I know about the girls. I think also they can say things that it's like, wow, I can't believe you just said that. Yes. Um, yes. Kind of. Uh, Unfil- not unfiltered, but like. Like they stand by. Yeah. Coming to Standing by what they said. Like, yeah, I said that. Yeah. yeah. He said that he was a jerk and blah, blah, blah. Like yeah. in front of his yeah. face. That's my opinion. And it's well researched. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I really like the, the. I mean, I mostly do know girl Geminis. I know Mm -hmm. one that I'm thinking of with is a boy Gemini and he's hysterical and it was great. Like it was one of my college friends and great. But for the, like the chatty ones, I also like kind of like with the brash thing that you just said, I'm thinking about again, of awesome Gemini friend, Liz, who like in college, um, I was just having a day and I was like, I just, everything like some, it wasn't going right. And I was just like, oh my God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> and Liz went right now or like in general, <laughs> I was like, Liz. <laughs> she's like, no, 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 no. It didn't, like, <laughs> it didn't mean it. And then another time when it was like, um, I had a rough night. Cause it was an alcohol filled night at a party school. And so I was like, and I had so much to do the next day socially. And I was just sitting on the couch in the morning. Like I am not okay. And I have so much to do. And she came out and she was like, you don't look good. You look wonderful, but you don't look like you're doing well. <laughs> And you could see like the Gemini just came out of, you don't look good. And like the look on my face is like, are you kidding me? Let me rephrase. So I do. It's like, it's like, did you just say that? But I, I appreciate it because Gemini's vibe with me. So I can see how maybe those things like don't vibe with other people. But mm-hmm. yeah, I love the Gemini's that I know, but I do think it depends on which side of the Gemini you meet first. Um, mm-hmm. Because there's some Gemini's that I have met where I meet the one side and I, it's like, I'm kind of like, wow, that was really harsh or wow, that was really opinionated. And then you get the other side and I'm like, wow, you're an awesome person and all of you together, both sides. But when I just got the one side, it's kind of, I almost feel like their, their personalities are compartmentalized in that way where it's like, mm-hmm. you know, everybody else has all of the same feelings and emotions and everything that a Gemini would have, but it's kind of like maybe more like evenly distributed. What's the word? Melange mixed it's more evenly mixed let's say (laughs) and (laughs) and and with a gemini it's like this part of my personality happens all at once and the other part Mm -hmm. of my personality happens all at once you know so i think there's that's kind of how it's distributed but i would Mm -hmm. say in general i don't really see a huge difference between the boy and girl gemini's that i know but yeah they all are chatty and hilarious Mm -hmm. yeah 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 Yeah. all right Let's talk about some famous ones and we will do our best to go back and forth. But as always, I promise nothing. (laughs) All right. Natalie Portman. Kanye West. Your favorite. (laughs) Angelina Jolie. Mary-Kate and Ashley. I love that they're Geminis. They're the twins who are the twins. Okay. I know. I love that. (laughs) Um, Stevie Nicks. Yeah. Marilyn Monroe. Venus Williams. (laughs) Dina Menzel, what was the thing that John Travolta said? I know, you know, it's so funny. I was going to look that up so that we could say her name that way. Please do it. Can we? Can we? I'm just, we can cut this out. I love that it's the third one down if you type in John Travolta. John Travolta, the biggest Oscar fail ever. (laughs) What is it? What is it? Adele Dazim. And he goes, the wickedly talented, amazingly <laughs> something. Adam does him. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Adele does him. What's it? Isn't John Travolta like an Aquarius or something? Like I don't know, but oh now I want to look god. that up. 
I don't deceive. I remember when that happened and there was like a whole generator where you can go and type in your name and John Travolta by your name. <laughs> He is. He's an Aquarius. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Adele Dazim. So Adele Dazim. Adele Dazim. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's so funny because it's like, where did you get that from? What happened in that moment that you just completely <laughs> gave her a different name? <laughs> It wasn't like Medina Inzel, you know, like we didn't reverse letters even. <laughs> like you're reading. It's right there. <laughs> Adele Dazim. Okay. Who is a Gemini? I believe I said um, that one. You did. Okay. <laughs> Heidi Klum. Heidi Klum. 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 Um, Project Runway. That was a big part of life in high school. Big part of life. Um, Prince. Paul McCartney, Macklemore, Tom Holland, Chris Evans, Johnny Depp, Helena Bonham Carter, which is fun, right? It's like they're in everything together. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I've got two Geminis there. And now I kind of want to know what uh, Tim Burton's sign is. He's a Virgo. Interesting. Mm. Jennifer Goodwin. Love her. Ian McKellen. Mm-hmm. Love him. Mm-hmm. Octavia Spencer. Oh, Wentworth Miller. Oh. oh, my God. Yeah. Prison Break, another, anyone? Another big part of life. Prison another Break. Another big part of life. Another mm-hmm. big part of inspired Tara's rock band name, like Guitar Hero band name. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's first tell yours. You were the Pears. Okay. <laughs> I was the Pears. You know, I'm, I'm, Okay, wait, wait, wait. Guitar Hero. Everyone... Yeah. You remember Guitar Hero, how that was like a huge thing. And I was a fucking beast at Guitar Hero. Yeah, like 2005, 2006, probably. Oh, 2007, my God. 2007, maybe. Yeah, really big into Guitar Hero, and you had to name your band. And I was the Pears because I did art in high school, and we had to do a fruit still life with fucking crayons. Red, yellow, blue crayons for a fruit still life, like Crayola. Mm-hmm. I fucking can't. But anyways, um, we had to do like a practice fruit and I drew a pear as my practice fruit. And it was probably the best thing I've created in my entire life. And it was yeah. like completely um, like stellar for having done that with three crayons. And like my dad mm-hmm. framed it and we had it up. And I don't know, like whenever something pear would come up, it was related to me. And mm-hmm. so I was the pears. However, Wentworth Miller, who played Michael Schofield on Prison Break. Tara was obsessed with it, got me obsessed with it. We Mm -hmm. were watching it like all summer and Tara was in love with Michael Schofield. And so Mm -hmm. Tara's guitar hero name was Schofield Sex Beast (laughs) because he was a sex beast and he still is. Oh my God. So good. Schofield Sex Beast. We had such good band names on a guitar hero but, oh my yeah, that god was, that was ours that that was it mm-hmm. <laughs> anyways Went anderson cooper okay mark Wahlberg. liam neeson shia labeouf peter dinklage hold on can we just go back for a second shia mm. labeouf like mm-hmm. i mean i know that that's like a, a french ass name but that literally is shia the beef what like i mean i never i'm connecting that right now okay sorry continue go I don't know who we were up to. Peter Dinklage. Yeah. Yes. Nicole Kidman. Morgan Freeman. JFK. Ken Jennings. Barry Manilow. And Mike Myers. Fucking love Mike Myers. Me too. Where so, is he? Right? What is he doing? Give me give me Austin Powers. Give me Shrek. Shrek. Give me Wayne's World. Give yes. me So I Married an Axe Murderer. That is the best. I love that movie. Love that movie. You haven't seen So I Married an Axe Murder? Go watch it immediately. It's a comedy, despite the name. A comedy it's mystery. Comedy kinda. mystery. Yeah, there's yeah. like a couple of moments where you're like, that is, I'm a little bit scared, but also it's Mike <laughs> Myers. It's hilarious. Such a good movie. Yeah. All right. So our relationship with Gemini's, we kind of already talked about. I mm-hmm. quite like them, but I can see how like, you know, I think I have had some moments with Gemini's where when I'm only dealing with one side of them, that it's mm-hmm. a lot it's a lot and i um if i don't have to get the have the time to get to know them well then it can be i don't want to say annoying but annoying mm-hmm. but i would say in general when i'm like oh you're a gemini i'm like yes 
because that means we're going to vibe. And I have some awesome Geminis in my life. Yeah. So I, I don't really have any negative personal experiences with Geminis, except for maybe like annoyances until I got to know people better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like them. I like Geminis. And I mean, like Geminis. Your mom is a Gemini and she is hilarious. And we always like, but your mom and I will banter Mm -hmm. like, you Mm -hmm. know, she's got sass. Yes. (laughs) I agree. Yeah. Um, She's also someone though, like I just sent her a book. Oh, if you haven't read Circe by Madeline Miller, everybody please read it right now. Oh my God. But I was like, Aaron, I would love this. And I feel like your mom's a secret bookworm where you don't like know that about her. Until if Mm -hmm. you know, until you know her really well, like, so she's, you know, she's not someone that I think of as being like super, like this, this is, I don't know how to say this without it sounding rude, like super well-informed. Like I don't see her as someone doing her own research on, on a whole bunch of Mm -hmm. different topics or being like, you know, constantly knows in a book, but it's like, when I, whenever I'm talking to her about books, it's like, oh, well, she's read all of these. Oh, well, she just finished reading all these books. And, you know, Mm -hmm. so she's kind of like a, in her own little secret way a My huge mom has reader stacks of books all over the place everywhere yeah like that's what holds up her <laughs> lamps she makes them beautiful too it's like yeah. with that libra moon making it beautiful where it's like i'm going to mm-hmm. use my books to enhance all the places mm-hmm. in my house yeah 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 so i will do a quick little little recap um mm-hmm. gemini's are air sign mutable sign masculine sign they're the first air sign uh, third sign of spring. They are adaptable. They're outspoken, creative, innovative, daring, lively, curious, funny, and they could also be unevolved and consistent, two-faced, overly anxious, judgmental, gossipy. Um, make sure that you use your smarts for a good thing and not getting too ruthless. And they love reading, writing, chatting. As far as Gemini season right now, if you're not a Gemini, this is a, you know, this is a time for community. Geminis are all about the community and they're all about Mm -hmm. like learning and short distance travel, lots of learning, but not like, you know, the opposite sign being Sagittarius is more like higher education, like learning. Whereas this is like little learning, learning lots of little things. So if you have a topic that you've kind of wanted to get into, now's the time. If you are, you know, meeting new people, being social, uh, and exploring your community and getting to know also traveling around your own space, you know, you don't have to be going, you know, I know everything travel is whatever it is right now, but your version of that, you know, exploring your neighborhood more like, oh, I never go to this part of town. Like, let me explore over there. Or we're going to go to the woods nearby that whatever, small distance traveling communities, getting into your brain, getting your think on, getting your learn on. Multitasking. Multitasking. I think that should be included in there too. Multitasker galore. I think all the Geminis I know are really good at multitasking. For sure. And also are Mm -hmm. doing like a million different projects. Like Mm -hmm. they've got like their, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. They finish them too. I am someone who does a million different projects, but they remain unfinished for months and years. A Gemini finishes all of their projects. One of my... Awesome. Gemini friends here, um, fellow American expat is she's like, oh yeah, I'm in a band. Oh yeah. I'm getting my PhD, but I'm doing it in French. Oh yeah. I'm also like teaching this right now. Oh yeah. I'm also like, you know, a yoga master. Oh yeah. I'm also blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh my God, but it's, (laughs) you're, you're doing all of these things and you're doing them all well because you have the brain power to have Mm -hmm. that many different tasks going on at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, show. Yeah. Sure. So mm-hmm. enjoy that. Enjoy that Gemini energy. And it's going to be different from the Taurus energy you've been feeling because Taurus is a lot of let's settle down and like, just, you know, enjoy and indulge and Gemini's. It's not going to be the same as Aries. Aries is going to be like, Oh, go. Mm-hmm. And Gemini is mm-hmm. going to be a lot more. I'm going to try this little thing and this little thing. And I want to learn this and I've got a lot going on and I'm going to be everything that has to do with communication. It's a mercury ruled month ahead mm-hmm. for show. Sure. yeah 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 all right well don't forget visit our website visit our patreon the stars maybe do visit it our com. instagram visit the- our facebook 
visit <laughs> all of it. <laughs> We'd really appreciate if you spread the word. Oh my God, Gemini season would be a great time to spread the word about the stars made me do it. Tell a friend, yeah. use that mm-hmm. chatty energy, gossip about yes. us. We give you permission, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> any good pub- publicity, any good, what is it? Any publicity any good- is good publicity. Yes. yes. So there you go. Tell your friend. <laughs> this is the perfect time to tell your friend about the stars made me do it. And if you are interested in getting your chart read, let me know because I do that. And Mm -hmm. if you are interested in extra episodes, we have a whole bunch of extra episodes on our Patreon. So patreon.com slash the stars made me do it. And we've got more coming. So Mm -hmm. if you are one of our awesome fans, who's just like every week you're with us and you want more, we got more for you. So go on over to Patreon and yeah, we will keep you updated via Instagram and Facebook, but, um, more lives coming up, more fun polls coming up, and hope you enjoy the the ever-changing winds of Gemini season. <laughs> Why are we talking about Geminis? The stars made us do it. Because it's Gemini season. Happy Gemini season. Bye. Bye.